Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Olga Breeze and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Depending upon your location, the raindrops are still falling. We have some light, gentle rain, just bands of moisture moving through parts of the viewing area. Right now, looking mainly to the east of uh, I-65, we're seeing mainly some light rain showers, but pockets of heavier rain uh, picking up from time to time. Right now, the greater Huntsville area, just kind of south and off toward our east, we're seeing some pockets of steady rain here. Also down south toward Lacey Spring, Boaz, and in toward the western point portions of the viewing region. The rain not quite moved out of the region just yet. Overall, though, it will be a mild night tonight. We'll keep clouds around. Temperatures will hang out in the lower 60s for most of the night, and we'll dip into those upper 50s prior to dawn. But it's not going to be too chilly. 60 degrees right now in Muscle Shoals, where at least the camera lens is dry at the moment. Uh, not a lot of rain there for now, but the temperatures are not going to moderate too much. We are seeing some pockets of cooler air, 58 for Haleysville uh, already. We have 59 out toward Fort Payne, where there is some uh, light rain showers moving on through. The clouds really held us back, though, today. 65, the high at Huntsville's reporting station. Normally, we see about 70 this time of year, so we're a little bit off the mark, but we'll be closer to 70 degrees tomorrow. We got a little bit of rain today, 0.19 tenths of an inch, so not too bad. It's helping us with our total. We're getting a little bit closer to where we should be at this time of year, but though we still have a bit of a deficit. The rain in the showers will eventually end after sun rise. We're going to see some patchy morning fog in a few areas for sure, and we might be able to see a gradual warming trend. I think it'll be a tough go on Monday because of the clouds, but for Tuesday, Wednesday, and even toward the end of the week, these temperatures will end up above average. 57 degrees for our low overnight tonight with a gentle wind out of the south. Forecast is holding just a bit of a rain chance, but notice how much it does drop off late in the afternoon and evening. For the trick-or-treaters, it looks like it will be dry. Rain chances won't be too healthy for the remainder of the overnight and into tomorrow, but the hourly forecast model is keeping these clouds around. From 7 o'clock tomorrow morning into the evening will be mostly cloudy most of the day with just a few peaks of sunshine. Then overnight as we push into Tuesday, that's when we start to see a little bit of sunshine. Tuesday morning, though not completely sunny, the clouds will pass from time to time, especially Tuesday evening, but into Wednesday and Thursday, that's when the warm-up happens. Most of the clouds move out by midweek, and we're left with a pretty decent end of the week. So the Halloween forecast is definitely going to be a bit on the mild side with our temperatures right around that 60 degree mark. The seven-day forecast for most of us is going to be sunny by Wednesday, Thursday for sure, as those temperatures move into the middle 70s, well above average. We could even hit pushing these upper 70s by Friday and Saturday. But again, we will have a nice dry stretch once we get through tonight.